Hello everyone, welcome back to Military Highlights. According to DefenseNews.com, the US Army wants ideas from industry on how to protect against attacks from so-called kamikaze drones, a loitering weapon that is featuring heavily in the war in Ukraine. Russia and Ukraine have used thousands of loitering munitions since the start of the war. The explosive carrying drone is known as a kamikaze weapon because of its one-way mission. One of the more well-known examples is Switchblade, which the Pentagon has supplied to Ukraine. Colonel Mike Parent, Division Chief for Acquisition and Resources in the Army's Joint Counter Unmanned Aircraft System Office, said the threat of loitering munitions is a high concern for his team. In that request for white paper, we're outlined what, we, what we're looking for from industry on a, a defeat of Group 3 one-way attack. We know this is a threat. We know it's important to the COCOMs, it's important to the services. We want to make sure that we can put this out to industry and let them come back with the solutions. <laughs> The one-way attack is something that we have been told again and again by combatant commands and the services that this is something that is evolving, he said during an October 12 briefing at the Association of the U.S. Army's annual conference in Washington. We must, therefore, evolve with it. Our adversaries are continuing to evolve this threat and we must be able to be in the forefront to get at it and that's what that demo intends to do. The service is poised to issue a formal request for ideas or white papers from industry in the next week or two, Parent said, noting that the aim is to move quickly to respond to proposals and demonstrate the technology. The work will focus on countering threats from Group 3 drones, a class of small UAs that weigh between 55 and 1,320 pounds. We have an aggressive timeline, he said. We're going to put that request for white papers out, and we're going to expect industry to come back very quickly. The Army is the U.S. Department of Defense's executive agent for counter rules work and the Joint Counter Small Unmanned Aircraft Systems Office created in 2019, works closely with the other military services to shape requirements. Major Gen. Sean Ganey, JCO director, said during the same October 12 briefing that defending against one-way attacks is just one piece of the Pentagon's layered approach to countering threats from rules. The war in Ukraine has validated the strength of that approach, he added. I think what we're learning is pretty much what we already knew. Dot, 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 it takes a layered approach, he said. You leverage your air defense systems, you leverage your counter UAS electronic warfare systems, and you leverage whatever counter UAS kinetic effectors you have to be able to get after the threat. Because the threat ranges. Requested to launch below 200 feet at building 9595. 